strong. Welcome back, everybody. Um, so I've been taking some time here to get some things in place. Got a lot of work done, and I wanted to share some updates. Uh, so, well, let's just jump right into it. I've been doing a lot of phone work. So uh, <clears throat> across the layout, I've been kind of focusing on a number of different techniques. Um, combination between some faceted, uh, that's the pink the pink uh, foam here, uh, faceted rock uh, with, uh, you know, your defined strata and your more weathered, um, the spray foam is going to represent your more weathered wind rock as a kind of a stone cap coming off the top layer, transitioning down into the bottom layer. Um, and then you can see I got the tunnel portal set up here. Uh, I'll probably eventually have this exact same uh, pour here, this plastic portal right on the front of there. So you can kind of visualize what it's going to look like. All this will be stone, uh, stone transition over into what will be my water feature. Uh, I'll have some uh, rusted pipe here, which will represent your uh, your stone um, storm drains down into just a, a, a reservoir, which will eventually have water all filled out and then kind of out into the edge here. Um, so I got stone started here and I'll go all the way up. Here's the start of uh, a balsa wood bridge, which will uh, be right there. And as you can see, going all the way um, up the path of the train, there is the exact same thing. Your faceted, um, as you can see, I'm kind of, it takes some time to do this. I didn't realize how long it was going to take, but as, uh, as I get through it, uh, I'm learning more about, you know, where to put the strata lines, where to kind of notch out some things to make it kind of look like stone. And then the spray foam, again, I'll, I'll have to fill some areas in, but uh, it will represent the weather wind rock on top here. Uh, got some more grass up top. Did static grass all the way across here. And um, that's where the majority of my focus has been is all this stonework, good grief. And think about it, I have to eventually go and put it all through here too. But for right now, I'm just gonna stop right here because I'm gonna wanna paint all this up and get it looking really nice uh, before I go any further. Now let's get into how I made those trees. Well, as you can see from the photo there, I cut uh, some furnace filter into small, uh, medium and large pieces and spray painted them with that camouflage paint uh, that I mentioned in the last episode. <clears throat> Next, I uh, took a uh, little branch that I found um, and then uh, stuck those pieces of furnace filter onto the branch and took some wood glue and kind of glued them in place uh, to get them ready for uh, the next stage. The next step here, really, I just kind of cut up the uh, a furnace filter uh, in little, I cut little slots into each layer, alternating where those slots go. Uh, and as you can see from looking from the structure itself, I kind of began the whole process of making it pointed toward the top 
as well. Okay, so this next section, or I should say this next photo kind of um, shows the progress of me adding <clears throat> some ground uh, cover. Um, and it's beginning to look more like a tree. Uh, this is the basic ground cover that I used for, for this uh, process. Now, this is where I began to use a static grass. Each layer, I'll spray some 50% uh, water, 50% Elmer's glue, or PBA, uh, and then spray that onto the tree structure and then sprinkle some, uh, the first one was ground cover, this time is static grass. And as you can see, it kind of begins to look more and more like a tree. Now this next stage, I began to take some scissors and just kind of chop away areas that made it look more like a uh, blotch or, uh, or squared off section. And I began to kind of shape and mold it into what uh, my eye kind of picks up it looking like a tree. This is where I begin to uh, ask you all, how many trees do you think I was able to make with um, the beginning first time around um, sections of furnace filter. What's your guess? Please leave it in the comments. So how many did you guess? Well, as you can see, uh, it only rendered about three trees. I had a couple spare patches left over. And that other uh, tree is a uh, one that I had left over from a two pack when I bought this one here. But uh, if you got it right, great. Let me know what you think of the outcome. I think they look pretty good. Till next time, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications.